Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, y'all. I'm going to get some messages here for uh, from the No Communication Love Oracle deck that I have, and we're just going to see what's going on here, okay, for the ones of you that's in no communication with the person here. Okay, so... Spirit, give me some messages here of the highest, highest, highest right of life here. Okay, give me some messages. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. So whoever you're in separation with, collected, this person is missing your conversations. They're missing your voice. They're missing y'all long talks, y'all conversations here. Okay, they're missing your friendship. Okay, they're missing the love. Okay, um, that they feel from you. Okay, it's what I'm also getting here. They're missing that love that you give them here. Okay, they just love y'all conversation here. You could have very great conversation. You all could be very smart and intelligent. You also could be very funny as well. So it's like y'all conversation is top tier. Okay, it's like they can learn from you. They can laugh. Okay, but you also have all the right things to say. So you're very loving here. Okay, you all can send this person like, very beautiful text, okay, expressing how you feel, good morning, good night, or you can have, like, little pet names, all that good stuff, okay, I am afraid, I am afraid for getting too serious, I was hurt before, okay, so, if before y'all, this person, you know, you might not have known exactly, like, where this person stood here, like, when it came to something serious, a serious commitment here. Because I definitely feel like this is something that, you know, you wanted from this person. You wanted a serious commitment from this person, okay? And believe it or not, y'all, despite on how they act, this person might not have even shown you how much they really, really do love you. But this person is really, really in love with you here. And even though you all might not be in communication here or in separation, this person is like desperately wanting to talk to you here. Okay? It's just that this person has been hurt before and this person was scared to go into something out of fear of them, you know, being hurt or betrayed like somebody has did them in the past or multiple people did them in the past here. But this person wants to, like, I feel like this person want to get in their full energy. It's like this person is, like, getting some type of clarity during this separation here, okay? And they're thinking here, okay? But they really want to be with you here, okay? Don't doubt that this person don't want to be with you. They they do. It's just this person has been hurt before, y'all. Okay, so whoever reading this is for, this is somebody that could have ran away out of fear. Okay, out of fear because they, they you know, didn't want to be hurt or betrayed in a situation here. Okay, but this is something that they always wanted. And I'm hearing this person always knew that you were their person. They, they want to set it down. They really do. Okay, they just want to make sure that they are making the right decision. I'm here. Whoever I decide to settle down with, I want to make sure that they're right and they're not going to hurt me. Because I feel like this person, they don't they don't want to be in and out of serious relationships and it don't work out. They want to make sure that the next person that they be with, this is somebody that they can settle down with. And, and they pick the right person. You know what I'm saying? So this is what they're getting clarity on. Like I feel like this person is realizing that you're that perfect person to settle down with. This person feels like you're not going to do anything to hurt them or betray them here, okay? So just know this person thinking about you. They're thinking about you. This person feels empty without you, and it was just 4.04 on the time and on my clock, y'all. Okay, know that this situation is divinely guided, y'all. Know that this, this connection is protected by the Most High, y'all. And it's going to come together so beautiful, y'all. It is. Okay, but I really do feel like this person had to let go of some fear, some type of self-doubt here. And they had, sometimes you have to forgive people that ain't even sorry. You got to forgive people that, that hurt you and did things to you in your past. They could have did it on purpose. Whether they did it on purpose or not, you got to forgive them for you, okay? That is how you 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 really move on from that hurt, is you got to forgive people sometimes that, that, that ain't never told you I'm sorry. 
Okay, because long as you hold on to that hurt, it keeps you from growing. It keeps you from elevating. And it keeps you from having something beautiful with somebody else holding on to that hurt, thinking that the past person going to be like the new person. You know, that new person going to be like that past person. I'm sorry, my apologies. I said that backwards here. Okay, yeah. So this person is like, I, I'm getting the truth and clarity. And I see... I see, like, this person ain't going to do me like the past people. You all are a very beautiful soul, okay? You all are very loving. Some of you all could be earth angels, and this person is seeing it. Like, they know that here, okay? This person could be, like, regretting how maybe they could have left things with you, okay? But just know it was because this person was hurt before, and they, and they were scared to get hurt. So this person could have left you before you could leave them, Okay? Definitely. This person could have thought that you were going to leave them. And they might have been dealing with abandonment issues as well. So it's like, look, I'm going to leave you before you leave me. I see that this person, see, I have some type of issues. And I can see that this person could be getting tired. So I'm going to leave them before they leave me. So that's definitely what could have happened here. This person want a second chance with you. Okay? But with this second chance, y'all, I'm telling you, it's not going to be how it was before. All right? This person, I definitely feel like did some type of introspection collective. And I feel like spirit has been working on this person. This person, no, you ain't going to do nothing to him. This person definitely could have, you know, actually forgave people that, that, that didn't uh, give them a, a apology. Okay, it says, no one makes me feel the way you do. You are the best I ever had. You're the best this person ever had. Never doubt that. You know, we be knowing when we good. Okay, collective. Like, shit, I'm fine. I'm business-oriented here, okay? I give the best love. My little sugar bowl down there good, okay? I'm a woman in the streets in a freak in a bed. What else? You know, I got it all. This person know you got it all. They know you got it going on. You hear me? They know you got it going on. You the best that this person ever had. Don't doubt it. I don't care how stuff could have ended, but, but, you know, with y'all or whatever. But know that this person love you, though. It was because this person was hurt before, though. And this person could have thought that you might have was going to do the same thing. Or if you if if you wanted a relationship with this person, like, really bad, and you kept pushing it, like, I really want us to be together and da 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 and that, at the time, this person wasn't ready. You know what I'm saying? And they could have felt you wanting to leave them alone. You know what I'm saying? So they want they they wanted to leave you before you could leave them because they didn't want to feel that they wanted to be in control of it because this person loved you and had you been like, look, I'm I'm gone, I'm gonna leave you. It it would have triggered something in them. You know what I'm saying? So they left you first. Okay, that's what happened. They left you first before you could leave them because they knew that they know what you want. They knew what you wanted, but they weren't ready at the time. They weren't ready at the time. So they like, I know I've been having this person waiting. I know I'm not giving them what they want right now. And I know they tired. You all could have told this person that you was tired. But this person like, you know what? All right, I'm done. They could have said, I'm done with you. And they the one had you wait. But you know what I'm saying? But it was so they, it's so they could be in control of the situation. Okay? It wouldn't make them feel so bad if they left you first. I know it sounds immature, y'all. But believe me. It's like an energy transfer thing here, okay? <laughs> like, I left you. You ain't leave me, okay? With some people, y'all, it make them feel good, all right? But that's just, that's just let you know that this person has some type of abandonment issues, y'all, okay? This person, I'm telling you, missing the shit at you. You hear me? They missing the shit at you right now, okay? I love you so much. No matter, man, I'm telling you, this person missing you. This person love you, okay? They missing you and they love you here. All right? They do. This person loves you so much. It's hurting them not talking to you right now. It's hurting them not seeing you right now. This person missing your conversation. They missing your voice. They missing them beautiful text messages. They missing holding you. They missing all of that. Okay? And you best believe they thinking about how, how, how stuff ended. You know what I'm saying? They wish they could have did things better with you here. Okay? You know? I hope our paths will cross again in the future. This person hope that you two can cross paths again and give this love thing a try again, y'all. They, they're they praying that one. I told y'all I keep picking up on the Shanti and Nelly. I'm telling you, y'all. God is going to have it to where you all cross paths again. 
And you all are going to be able to try this love thing again, but it's going to come when both people are healed and both people are on the same exact page. Okay? I'm telling you, it's going to happen. God, I'm telling you, you might be, you might see this person again at the gym and running into each other at a coffee shop, running into each other out of town somewhere off for work, business, something. It's going to be, I'm telling you, like a, like a, uh, Mom, huh? your timer. Okay. It's going to happen at perfect timing because my timer just went off. Okay. It's going to happen in perfect timing. And I actually forgot that I set my alarm just now. <laughs> So it's going to happen in perfect time. And I'm telling you, it's it's going to be like a serendipity moment here. Okay. A serendipity moment here. Nobody compares to you. No other compares to you. I'm telling you. Our connection is complicated. There are issues out of our control. So it could have been complicated because this person was hurt. They didn't know what they wanted. Okay. They didn't know what they wanted, child. They did. I'm not the same. This person, I'm. Baby, I'm telling you, when this person come back in, they ain't the same person. They ain't the same person. This person definitely could have forgave people that hurt them in the past, okay? If they had any kind of mother, father wounds, any kind of childhood wounds, this person has forgiven their mother, their father, okay? Or their guardian, who we, whoever raised them, they forgave them. People in their family, their friends, old lovers, they have forgave them. Even if the motherfucker didn't say, I'm sorry. They just wanted to heal and move forward past that. So they can not only love themselves correctly, give themselves best love, treat themselves better, but have a, a clear way of thinking, not, not making decisions based off past hurt and trauma. But they can think clearly. You know what I'm saying? Knowing that they're making the best decision. Okay? And this person, I'm telling you, when they come back in, baby, they ain't the same. You hear me? This person going to be ready. They going to be ready for whatever, whatever it is that you was ready for in the beginning. They ready to go. They going to be ready for that. Okay? So, you know what I'm saying, y'all? This person, I'm telling you, feel like you the best. You the best. You the best I ever had. Best I ever had. Best I ever had. I've been wanting to play music, y'all. I need to get it where to, uh, I can play music on here, y'all, and I won't get flagged. It says, I love you today, tomorrow, and always. I was just a fool for not a minute earlier. Baby, this person is in love with you, collective. It says, I love you today. I love you tomorrow. And I always... I was just a fool for not admitting it earlier. This person always loved you. Always loved you, child. You scared them, baby. They, 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 they were scared that they was going to get hurt. But, baby, this person wanted, this person is wanting to tell you through me that, baby, they love you. They always loved you. They always knew that you was their person. They really did. Okay? It says, I do love you. Just know. I just don't know how to show you right now. This person just don't know how to show you. Or they didn't know how to show you, okay? But this person, I'm telling you, love the shit at you, and they missing you, baby. I'm telling you that right now. Can't nobody compare to you. I don't give a fuck who they cross paths with. Ain't no, it ain't, it ain't nobody like you. You hear me? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't nobody like you, all right? It ain't nobody like you. It says, I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking that? So this person could have left things off with not talking to you. They could have left things off without talking to you. You could have been asking this person, so what are we? What are we doing? Do you love me? Are we going to be together? You know what I'm saying? Trying to get clarity and whatever. And this person just didn't say nothing else. And, and they left it at that. It says, I know I was wrong by not talking to you. Would you be open to talking now? This person want to talk now. This person missing you so much. It's like they can't think straight. You know what I'm saying? It's killing them not talking to you. You hear me? It's hurting them not talking to you. They want to talk to you so bad, but some of them feel like you might not want to talk to them because of how, how they were acting before the separation. But whoever this reading for, I feel like you were, you miss this person too. You want to be with this person too. You just want to make sure that they're serious. You want something serious though, okay? But this person wants something serious too now. They, they know who you are and they know you ain't going to hurt them, y'all. But it, it took for it took for it, some space had to be needed in this situation. A separation was needed, okay, for both people to grow, 
here, okay? It says, don't forget about me. I haven't forgot about you, okay? Collective, this person said, please don't forget about me. They, look, they said, look, I'm returning. You best believe in this separation. I'm thinking about you, baby. And I'm getting this shit together. You know what I'm saying? Any kind of traumas, anything I had going on, baby, I'm healing. You hear me? I'm getting my mind, body, and soul right. You hear me? Don't forget about me, baby. Don't move too fast because I'm coming. I'm coming for your ass. Okay, that's what they saying. Don't move too fast, baby. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Hold on. Where you going? What you doing? Who is that? Oh, baby, I'm coming back. All right. You better tell him I'm coming back. And so, baby, y'all, if y'all dating or if y'all have moved on, you know what I'm saying, trying to forget this person, this person like, wait, hold up. Don't move too fast because I'm coming for your ass. You hear me? And, and when I come in, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you off the market. Okay? <laughs> I ain't forgot about you. You might not heard from me, but I ain't forgot about you. I'm getting my stuff together, baby, because I'm coming for you. Your person said, I'm coming for you. Anything else, spirit, for the collective, my beautiful collective. Anything else for my beautiful collective. Anything else. Let's see. Look, I know that we are spiritually connected. Baby, they know who you are. They know. They like, look, I know this woman or this man, my soulmate. I know it. This person feeling you. You could be feeling them still. You know what I'm saying? Y'all could be on different sides of town. Y'all, If y'all in the same city, y'all could be on different sides of town. Even though y'all ain't talking, you feeling them. Y'all could be in different states, different countries. You're still feeling them. Because, look, y'all spiritually connected. It was meant for y'all to be together in this lifetime here. Okay? It's meant. This person know it. They know y'all spiritually connected. Okay, the problem I'm talking about, this person cannot get you off their mind. They can't get you out their heart. They know, they like, I know this is my person. I, I know this is who God sent in my life for me to be with for the rest of my life. And y'all gonna be together for the rest of y'all life. You hear me? That's it, and that's it. Spirit said, that's it. That's the update. That's the update. But y'all, I hope this, this reading resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Okay, and I thank you all for the likes, the comments, your shares here. Okay, I love y'all. Thank you for my new subscribers. I love y'all too. Okay, I'm glad y'all chose to subscribe to my channel and support it here. Okay, I love y'all. Look, y'all, I don't, I don't got my money up a little bit, y'all. Okay, I was, I was going through some shit financially at first, and and I promised my collective that I was gonna start giving giveaways and doing something for y'all, because when I tell y'all, I ain't gonna cry. I'm a thug, but. I really do appreciate y'all donations. I do. Okay. And I be I was going through some shit financially for a little minute, y'all. And that's why I had took a break off for a month because I was going through some stuff, y'all. I had to get my, my mind, body, and soul together. All right. But I thank y'all for whoever donated to me. I don't care if it's 50 cent. That's 50 cent more than I had before. Okay. And I want to do something for y'all for uh Thanksgiving and Christmas. I love y'all. Bye. Peace.